So here we have after the probably 12 hours, and so it's not as you can see, it's dry already in the first coat. Okay, so before we're going to put the second coat, I just want to pass my hand here to see if it's quite smooth, and it's quite very smooth. If it's not smooth, or you think it's a bump or something, you can just take a, a light pen and send a little bit. And it's not really needed here, and not here, and this place. Okay, and you can see the imperfection here. Okay, so this imperfection that you can see very close, that's what the second code is going to actually address. Okay, you can see here, it's not perfection. And you can see here around, kind of, a, you can see the mesh here. The second coat will take care on this imperfection around this area. So before, before making the second coat, so you have to check it with your hand to see if the mesh is already inside, inside the mud, and it's inside the mud here also. And you, if you have an issue, you can actually use sand paper, send the block and sending what you really need. So for the second coat, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this knife, which is actually 8 inch. And it's look dirty, but it's not, it's really smooth like clean it but it will be used for many times. And here is the compound that I actually put in this box. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have compound here, you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this compound and really with almost 30 to 20 degrees, I'm going to move it around in the first coat. Okay. Maybe yeah, I can start from here. So you really have to apply a little bit of power here. And almost flatting the knife just to create the effect of spreading evenly the compound. You see here the compound is missing a little bit. So we continue spreading it. I need more compound to put, so let me put more compound. After I finish to put this compound there, you can see it's not very smooth. What I'm going to do, I'm going to clean the knife. It's very important to clean it. And I'm going to take it 45 degrees. When I remove the excess of the compound as much as I can. But on this area, I miss 45 degrees. And here, a light touch. Okay, so now we finish to smooth it around this gap. As you can see, it's 8 inch center. So, what I'm about to do now is cold feathering, and that look at that, I actually cleaned this knife very carefully. And what I'm doing here, I'm actually putting the knife here. If you look carefully here, I'm putting here on a sheet rock here. And what I want to do is I want really to level or flash this compound with the sheet rock. So really what I'm doing here, I'm putting it here and I really apply power here. And forty five degrees. So you can see here how much it takes. So what's happening here in this where is the edge here, it's really flat with 
the sheet right. That's a very important thing. So I can continue the second side of the knife. Again, I'm putting, look at that, the knife here, apply power here, and what I want to do is I want to flash the compound with the sheet work in this area as much as I can. So you can see the excess of this compound which it already needs, so it's going to come back to the container. Here is the container. So I have to clean it nicely. So I'm cleaning it. Okay, now from cleaning it, I continue to the same place. And the same techniques. Apply pressure on the sheet right here, on the bottom. And so I finish this, this side. Now I'm going to the upper side. So remember, you have to really clean it every time you make this kind of pass. So now what I'm going to do is on the upper side. Same techniques. If you can see, I'm putting this knife here, strong, and then I'm pressing it. Forty-five degrees. You see the excess here? And even the second side of the knife, the clean side. It's a little bit of compound here. Same thing. Put pressure on the hopper here. And quite tight holding this end. Finish. We're really almost finished. So you can see now that the compound is flesh, really flesh, with this sheet work and here this sheet work. The width before the thickness of the compound was maybe 1 8. Now the thickness of the compound is maybe 1 to 64. Now if you look at it carefully, you can see here kind of a, a rough little bit here, some kind of a line. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this knife and lightly move it here to just remove this line. As you can see, this line is disappearing. 45 degrees. And maybe here a little bit. And that's it. The second coat here is really finished. And that's going to dry like quite faster because there's a little bit of compound here. So maybe in four or five hours, depend on humidity and temperature, this compound, this second coat will dry. And then we can make the third coat.